Well, hey guys, and welcome to Hey, It's a Good Life. I'm so glad you could join me today for this little conversation over tea about what is Hey, It's a Good Life and how did we get our homestead name? This is a conversation worthy of a cup of tea and a little chit chat. So join me for a cup of tea and let's talk about how we got our homestead name. tagged by Forgotten Way Farms. Thank you so much, you guys. Love you. And this tag was started by Two Wild Onions. I will link them down in the show notes below. So the question is, how did we get our homestead name? First and foremost, I want to clarify that we by no means live on legal homestead land. We live in an apartment, but since launching Hey, It's a Good Life, I have found my people and those people are homesteaders. I found the homesteading community through my love of gardening and a desire to eventually start a farm one day. I started following people like Justin Rhodes and watching Joel Salatin videos, which somehow led me to Jess over at Roots and Refuge. And of course, all the other giants like Living Traditions and Wholesome Roots and all the other big channels out there. I have found a beautiful community of people who are into the same things as me. And that community is the homesteading community. So I'm very honored to be tagged in this collaboration. Although I don't live on a farm, I hope to live on some type of homestead property one day. I wanna keep this simple because I've tried to shoot this video actually several times in the last couple weeks. And I just seem to kind of stumble over my words. I think part of that has to do with just kind of figuring out my brand still even though it seems so simple, I get really caught up in the details. And so I've made a little outline for myself and I'm here to share that with you so that we can keep on track and actually finish this tag video. Here's my outline. <laughs> so let's break it down by phrases. The first phrase is, hey. To me, hey is something that you would say to a friend, like, hey, how are you? It's a casual hello. It's a greeting. It's an invitation to slow down and to be with one another and to stop and smell the roses, if you will. The next phrase is it's a. Now, when I was kind of writing this out, I was like, I know that's significant, but why? And I think why this phrase of the whole name, Hey, It's a Good Life is significant is because it's a, it's, it's a declaration. It's a decision that whatever's coming after it's a, that it is, it is that thing, whatever it is, it's that. So it's a is a choice, it's a perspective, and ultimately it's a decision. The last phrase is good life. Now I think there's kind of this misconception out there potentially about my name. While I generally am like a very joyful, peppy person, I'm also deep and I also have sad feelings and upset feelings and a good life, it's a life of goodness, of depth, of of richness. It's it's good. It's like it's like when you bite into a burger and you're like, "Oh, that's good." It's like it's just all of it all at once. So, it's a good life is joy and happiness and it's good food and good coffee and yummy tea and you know, a nutritious meal, it's home-baked bread, it's, it's food grown in your own home garden, it's being with family, it's inviting people over, it's doing things yourself, it's being frugal. Those are all the things that make my life a good life. But if I'm being honest, I think that there's goodness and grief. And since starting Hey, It's a Good Life, there have been a lot of challenges and a lot of things to grieve. And I think there is an inherent goodness in grieving well, in working through thoughts and feelings well. So I think there's a goodness, whether it's a happy feeling or a more sad feeling, there's a goodness. And it's like this invitation to sit and be present with one another. You know, come on in, you're welcome here, you're loved. Now let's put all those words together. The feeling that I get is like a warm welcome to do the things that make life good, to be with the people that make life good to slow down, to smell the roses, to choose perspective and to choose joy. I wouldn't say that I have this refined down to a science yet, but I would say too that there's an invitation in Hey, It's a Good Life for others to define for themselves, what does it mean to live a good life? I hope that when people encounter my channel, they kind of ask themselves that question like, okay, so for Natalie, a good life is good food, it's recipes, it's DIY, it's frugality, it's financial freedom, it's 
vacations, it's cats, it's coffee. Like for her, that's a good life. But what does it mean for me? And am I willing to take the next step towards that? So as you guys already know, I have a huge dream. One that I think will in fact happen just based on the sheer number of people who have spoken it into existence over me already and the belief that I have in my heart that I'm called to do this thing. My mission, my life goal is to run a healing homestead that heals land, animals, and people. I have two degrees in psychology. I love agriculture. I love animals. I love hospitality. I want to meld them together and say, hey, let's do horticulture therapy on the homestead. Hey, let's do equine therapy on the homestead. Hey, let's do an art group on the homestead. Hey, let's do a retreat here on the homestead. I have this vision and this dream of what I want for my life. It's funny, when my husband and I first met, he said, if you could do anything with your life, what would you do? And I was just so set. I just looked at him square in the eyes and I said, I want to run a ranch where people can come for therapy, for group therapy, for retreats, etc." And that's what I want to do. And he was like, oh, cool. I like that. <laughs> and since then he's kind of onboarded with this vision, having a heart for hospitality himself and having a heart for animals and good food and events and retreats. While we both live lives that are pretty dedicated to our careers right now, we are working each and every day towards more financial freedom and towards this goal of a healing homestead. And on that note, I just want to say thank you so much for being here because every like, every share, every subscribe, that's one step closer for us towards our vision. And so if that's a vision that excites you, well then welcome to Hey, It's a Good Life because you are here helping to perpetuate that vision. So thank you so much because as this channel grows and hopefully as we can monetize and lead more people back to the blog and we're going to be growing our financial resources to start this healing homestead. And so that's really my goal. People say, oh, you know, why do you YouTube? Well, I'm building something here. So I just want to say thank you so much for being here because your presence here helps us reach our goals of having a healing homestead. And who knows, maybe one day we'll have you out at the ranch or the farm or the homestead, whatever we're going to call it yet. Right now I'm calling it a ranch. Run a ranch sounds nice in my heart. I kind of hope it's a homestead. Maybe we'll end up being more like a farm. How different are those things all from each other? Really? I don't know. Anyway, the point is this, I want to say thank you so much for being here because every time you like, you comment, you subscribe, you share with a friend, you share it on Facebook, you talk about it on Instagram, you're helping us build our audience and inviting more people into this. And that's my heart is I want as many people here as want to be here because that's my heart. I love inviting people into the story and into the community. Tommy and I both know what it's like to feel excluded and to feel like you're on the outskirts and we want people to know that they're welcome here. And that's my heart is to invite people into the story and into community. So thanks for being here. Thanks for helping us grow. Hey, it's a good life. And I really hope to share with you one day when we finally get to that next step, when we finally get to that final step, when we finally get to the dream, I hope to be able to share with you some of my earliest subscribers that you guys helped me get there and that you guys are a part of the story. So I just want to say thank you so much. So what is my hope for you here at Hey, It's a Good Life? My hope for you is that you feel welcomed and loved first and foremost, but I hope to share my story with you and that in so doing, I inspire you, encourage you, and empower you to live your good life, whatever it may be. Thank you so much for being here, you guys. If you like this video, please give it a big thumbs up. If you like something you've seen on this channel, never hesitate to share it because as I said earlier, when you guys share, like, comment, subscribe, do all of that stuff, it helps us reach more people and gets us that much closer to our ultimate goal of running a healing homestead. Thank you so much for being here, you guys, and I will see you next time.